Hey guys, welcome to Brain Attic. Today we have another very interesting problem from the concept of functions and the application of integrals. Such questions are very common in exams like J mains, J advanced, and for that matter, even international mathematical Olympiads. So if you do want to give it your try, you may pause the video now and give it a try. Otherwise, let's continue solving the problem. So here you see, consider a polynomial f of x given as 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cube and let s be the sum of all distinct real roots of f of x and let t be equal to s uh, mod of s. Now we are given three sub questions for this. The real number lies in the interval here means the real root of the expression f of x lies in the interval and we have four options. The second question the area bounded by the curve y is equal to f of x and the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x equal to t lies in the interval. So again we are given four intervals as options. And finally we have to identify the nature of the function f dash of x. In what region basically it is incre increasing or decreasing. So let us begin solving the problem. So what we are given is given is f of x which is nothing but x cube 4x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 1. Now since f of x is a cubic polynomial cubic polynomial now why are we calling it as a cubic polynomial because the highest uh, order of x is cube so therefore it is a cubic polynomial this implies thus it will have it will have at least one real root so it is very important this statement here is very important that since f of x is a cubic polynomial it should have at least one real root and now we'll just try to find what f dash of x is so f dash of x turns out to be 12 x square plus 6 x plus 2 simplifying it a little so we have 2 common 6x squared plus 3x plus 1 and this we see is a positive expression so we can see that f of x is a strictly f of x is a strictly increasing function f of x is a strictly increasing function because it's a cubic function and f dash of x turns out to be positive so f of x is a strictly increasing function this therefore implies that there is only one real root of f of x equal to 0 so pre previously we said since f of x is a cubic polynomial it should have at least one real root and after we found out that it is a strictly increasing function we say that there is only one real root of f of x equal to 0. Now since we are given four options and within that we have to find the re where in which what interval the real root lies we will just take some expressions and apply some numbers and apply to the expression. So we find function of minus half and this turns out to be positive you can see that 1 cancels out 1 plus 3 by 4 minus half and we are left with plus 1 by 4 which is a positive now we apply minus 3 by 4 and this turns out to be 1 minus 3 by 2 plus 27 by 16 minus 27 by 16 and this is technically minus half and which is negative so we know therefore the real root real root lies between minus 3 by 4 and minus half so we can very easily say that this lies s belongs to the region minus 3 by 4 to minus half now in the next question we have to find the area under the area bounded by the curve y is equal to fx and x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and x equal to t so basically we have to visualize the graph how basically it will look like so let this be y y dash be my y axis and x x dash be my x axis so this we are saying is 
the point where we'll find the real root and this lies between minus 3 by 4 to minus half and this is nothing but y of f of x and remember we said this will be a strictly increasing function now x equal to 0 this is x equal to uh, y x equal to 0 and this is y is equal to 0 so and we have to find the region bounded by the curve x equal to t so we know that t is equal to mod of s so t will also lie in within the region t will belong to half comma 3 by 4 so even though this is the region which we are interested in it has to be bounded by half and 3 by 4 because t is in that range so we'll start integrating we are interested in the area let that area be a 0 to t y of dx so we'll integrate over 4x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 1 dx and this turns out to be t4 t to the power 4 plus t cube plus t square plus t now we can boil this expression down to this now as you can see we have find found out this and a is equal to a is equal to t into t plus 1 into t square plus 1 and we said that t belongs to half to 3 by 4 so we can just uh, write it like this this also implies that t plus 1 will lie within the range 3 by 2 to 7 by 4 this also implies that t square plus 1 will lie within the range 5 by 4 to 25 by 16 so finally we know that a will lie in the region half into 3 by 2 into 5 by 4 lower bracket 3 by 4 7 by 4 into 25 by 16 therefore a belongs to the region 5 by 16 comma 525 by 256 now if you see that whatever we have found out for a is not exactly matching with our options given so now comes a very tricky concept over here that we have to identify that the region which we have identified is a subset of what of what options available to us and we can see that this region is actually a subset of 3 by 4 comma 3 so if we go back uh, okay the for the question number a the answer was c and for question number b the right answer is option a so a belongs to the region 3 by 4 comma 3 even though this is a more appro uh, appropriate answer but it is a subset of this option so let's go to the third part of the problem where we have to identify the nature of function f dash of x so we have already identified what f dash of x looks like that is 2 into 6x square plus 3x plus 1 and f double dash of x is nothing but 6 into 4x plus 1 now if uh, x is equal to minus 1 by 4 is a critical point is a critical point because at this point because at this point f double dash of x is equal to 0 so if you put any value uh, below min uh, minus 1 by 4 you will see that it turns out so this is minus t suppose and this is plus t so uh, if you apply any value which is below minus 1 by 4 it turns out to be negative and if you apply any value which is greater than 1 minus 1 by 4 suppose 0 it turns out to be positive so we can say therefore that function f dash of x we are interested in this right is decreasing in minus t comma minus 1 by 4 and is increasing just I'll write increasing 
in minus 1 by 4 comma t so this gives our final answer to the third question which is it is decreasing in the region minus 1 by minus t to minus 1 by 4 and increasing in minus 1 to minus 1 by 4 to t so if you do like the video hit the like button please subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you so much for watching